I have some cleaner. This is a mixed cleaner. I cannot find my alcohol cleaner. And it's okay because what's happening, I want to just wipe down the outside of the glass. So that way when I etch this, I don't want it to be, you know what I'm saying, stuff on it. I want it to be etched the right way. So that is what I'm doing. I am sitting on my bouncy ball right now. <laughs> so I was going to bring my, um, and I'm also watching a live video from Teal's making paper. So, but uh, I just want to go ahead and... This is a mix of like, um, like water cleaner and, um, oh my God, why can't I think of that cleaner? Um, it's uh, awesome. Awesome? Yeah, awesome. Put all these on here. Because all these going to be washed. It's just going to be interesting to watch because you got these strings on these. That's the only thing I don't like about I like this because I like the string. But at the same time, the string could be in the way. So now it's not, I don't feel that oily substance that was on it. Some type of oily substance. So I don't know. I got three cup machines. So I'm going to do three. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is print out or cut out the vinyl. And that's it. All right. So I picked three random ones, which I mean, I have plenty over here as well. But... I picked out a blue, a red, and a green. Doesn't matter. You don't have to do color. I don't want to do. I want to do color, but um, that's what I'm going to do. Where is my okay? So I'm gonna turn all these on. I know the lighting is a little weird in here right now, but it's okay. So this is for temporary. Plus, I still need to do this hundred dollar order, which I'm gonna do. But you know, this is what I deal with when you have a shop. And you're single-handedly you know doing things you're gonna have so much to do underneath your belt that you put under yourself and when I say this is because you got orders to fill you got to make new stuff and then <clears throat> I didn't even come out with my new items last weekend like I anticipated I didn't because I wasn't feeling so good I feel like behind right now I really do but I knew once I finally get to back you know a pep in my step or so I was gonna be okay and that's all it is sometimes you got to take time for yourself to regroup and get things together. Like now, I notice, like I know myself, me doing all this stuff, I can easily get my office back to the way it was. I do not want my office to get back dirty, but I'm human. You know what I'm saying? Allow yourself to be human. Um, it's okay. Once I get everything cut, it's going to come out to almost seven and a half and six so look and see i have plenty of scrap Ooh. i have plenty of scrap um vinyl i could probably use scrap because this is vinyl i'm not going to use because all of this is going to be um all of this is going to be um in use for etching so it's not vinyl i'm going to reuse but I am going to turn the vinyl where I can get actually two out of these. So um, I'm going to do one more. So I'm going to put all of them all to work at once. So that way I can get this done as quickly as possible. Now with the etching, they say to only leave it on for three minutes. I leave it on for longer just in case. And we're going to go over that in a second. Comment below if you have a, if you found some crickets and if you also name your crickets, <laughs> comment below if you do that. So I'm about to put all of these on there straight as I can. This roll brush is also in my Amazon shop. These uh, mats as well is in my Amazon shop because, you know, you, any way to save a buck, you know what I'm saying? And I brought a ton of freaking um, knives, I mean blades for crickets. I shouldn't probably need no more blades for a whole year. Probably another year and a half, actually, for another 12, 12 to probably 16 months, for real. So, I'm going to get these all going.
All right, so I was managed to get two, four, six, so 12 all together. <laughs> what did you do? got the bows cut out I lost the nail <laughs> I know just wanted to add a little bit of humor in there and so what I'm gonna do carefully I know people be like oh use transfer tape I just don't find it to be necessary if you want to use transfer tape that is your prerogative I'm gonna start off with start off right here so these are all the bowls. So, ooh, I see where there's a little a rip. I'm gonna let one side lay. And I'm just going to lightly smooth the rest down. Around the whole bow to be flat and no bubbles, none. So, now, in my case now, I have a rip over here. So I'm gonna have to make sure that I be very careful on like right here. I wanna make sure this sticks down as best as possible. And I'll just go ahead and lightly go around with my whole finger and lay it down. Because wherever this lay at is where it's going to settle and you will not be able to change it up. So that's why I got this to, you know what I'm saying, to, to get these edges. Because since I've already made mine, I've always seen my first print cut, my first cups or whatever case it is, is always mine because that way I can see where my imperfection is. Um, I'm usually spot on with things, but in the midst of it all, you know, when you first do projects, you're so anxious, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> you be in that mindset where you're like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know? And on top of that, I get some cute bows out of it, but I use those for something else. But anyway, in the midst of it, you find yourself, I'm going to have to find something to keep these bottles laying down a certain way. But anyway, we're going gonna to worry about that later. Right now, what I'm going to do is get all of these covered and, you know, and then we'll go from there. I start many, many, many projects. Not on purpose. It's just I get ideas and I want to do something with those ideas in my head you know what I'm saying what I do as being a solopreneur is hard to for me sometimes and I'm not gonna lie this is the honest truth to stay focused on one thing at a time unless I absolutely have nothing going on but since I've missed last weekend's release and also I see I don't know why I did that but since I missed last weekend's release because I wasn't feeling too well um, I wasn't trying to touch nobody's order, you know, it's just nowadays, you know, you can't be too cautious. I just, I was too tired to do anything. So anyway, this is why with me, I, I just, I just know me, you know what I'm saying? You got to know the midst of trying to start a whole new project when I got 50 million other projects going on, I kid you not. And with all those projects, I'd be like, oh yeah. And some of those projects will you know what i'm saying take up the time on why i couldn't get anything i've already started done <laughs> so here i am with the mad face 
when I can't get everything done like I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's what I go through a lot. Um, I'm a very, I'm happy that I am a crafty person. You know what I'm saying? Like going, doing things like this, you got to appreciate your craft. You got to appreciate, you know, what you're able to do, what you're capable of doing, what you push yourself to do and, you know, all of the above. So this one was a little bit bigger than the other one. I don't know why, but it's okay. Like I said, I just needed to be. Now, it would be dope if these cups could be like this, though. That would be dope, like, you know, like colored. But I am not that fancy. When I decide to jump into that, I will let you know. <laughs> but, um, it's not too bad. I just get, like I said, we got to smooth all of the edges. Because when you get this edge on here, I'm telling you, it, 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 it pretty much burns through whatever it touches. Um. I make sure that I touch all uh, areas to, to make the bow, you know what I'm saying? But in this case, I'm just going to show you guys how I do both of these. And these came out to be ready. Like I'm pressing all sides of each bow to make sure they are flattened. Because one of my bows got like a little stick sticking out the side of it. And I'm like, ah, I didn't smooth that down enough. And yeah, you go through that situation. But. I'm gonna go through it again so also I'm debating on how I want to do this because I should be doing this with water but I'm happy this time I have gloves there we go yeah so I knew that was gonna happen. There we go. Yes, yes. I think he's gonna come out beautiful. Okay, so my dilemma. I'm upset because I had some right here. I don't know if you can see it right there. But try to get where it covers and make sure that you don't see brush strokes or so in it. Um so I have a timer already set on my phone for 15 minutes and I'm gonna let this dry. Well, not dry, but um, you can go in with your brush, kind of remove the access and put back in here to use for later because we don't want to waste nothing around here. And yeah, so I am waiting my 15 minutes and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to rinse this one off first and then we'll come back and rinse this one. Well, I can carry them by the bottles. That's what I like about these handles. I could carry them one by one to do the rinse off. And uh, yeah, we'll do that. So I will see you in a minute. This is what it looks like. It's that frosted color. I know I still got like stuff around the edges. It's not gonna be too bad. But this is what it looks like after. You see the frosted? That's what I want. This side we're still gonna do. So I'm gonna do this side next. I'm kind of max. I did have this random bow right here, but I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna have to angle it a certain way so it won't lay on it. So I'm gonna do the other side and then I will show you guys the final results, but I'm going to wipe this a little bit more with the wet paper towel. And yeah, like that, this one is done. It both came out really good, actually. Really good. So, all right, that's that. And let me do the other side next. <laughs> 